Is this also embarrassing for Australia in the eyes of our other closest ally, the United States? Well, we have a close relationship with the United States and we're about to host uh, two congressional delegations here in Canberra over the next few days. Um, certainly, it's a close relationship. We have many shared positions. Um, but we always act in our, in our interests. And as I said, I don't think this is in... This isn't the right thing to do to Israel, nor is it in our national interest. We have a very close relationship with Israel across a number of areas, but particularly with our people-to-people -people links. I had a great discussion with um, the Jewish students here in Canberra only a few days ago. Um, some were from Israel. Those people-to-people -people links are really important, and to build them, you've actually got to do the right thing by your friends, and that's not blindside them with petty political changes uh, regarding mm. some really critical areas of, of Israeli life. Mm. And blindside is the right word because I've just revealed on air tonight that while the Foreign Minister Penny Wong had a meeting with senior Jewish community leadership last week, she made no mention of this upcoming foreign policy change. Now, Andrew, just, on another... Just like, just, yeah. just like when... I was just going to say, Sherry, just like when they reversed the decision to uh, no longer re recognise West Jerusalem as the Israeli capital. They did it on a Jewish holiday, in fact, which was really insensitive to, to a lot of uh, Jewish yeah. people in Australia, but also our Israeli friends. Yeah. Now, on another topic, you were calling for a bipartisan defence committee to handle the AUKUS relationship with the United States and Britain moving forward. What's the development on that? So yesterday, Richard Miles, the Deputy Prime Minister, announced that Labor would be moving to establish a statutory joint defence committee, very much like the Intelligence Committee. I've got to acknowledge the work of Julian Hill, uh, the Victorian MP for Labor. Um, he, worked, he did a lot of work on that. Uh, and I think this is very good for our country because we'll now have a parliamentary mechanism, a committee, to hold defence to account across a range of areas, not just AUKUS, but a whole, a whole range of areas, which mm. I think has been the missing piece of the puzzle. Now, your party is also pushing, this is news today, front page of The Australian, pushing for a nuclear option, a nuclear solution to our energy problem. Do you think this is going to be popular with voters? Look, I think we've, we've got to have the conversation. Power bills are through the roof. People want reliable power. Businesses need reliable power. Industry needs reliable power. And um, a really reliable form of renewables is actually nuclear. It's low emissions and a lot of other countries around the world use it. So I think we should have that conversation as well, which is what we're doing. And I think the Australian people are fair-minded. I think they see the need for nuclear power submarines. And I think um, we should have this conversation about establishing a civil industry to make sure that we are um, a country that can keep the lights on in the future. Mm. Andrew Hastie, thank you very much for your time tonight. Really appreciate it.